Thank you, sir, to strike the last word. I was recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I concur with the remarks of our ranking member and, and of Ms. Demings. I support this bill, and I support it strongly, and I uh, appreciate what law enforcement does. Uh, they're certainly an essential part of a ordered liberty and of a free and safe society. But at the same time, there needs to be a look at situations to where a large percentage of our population feels that there is not an even-handedness and justice when it comes to law enforcement using deadly force in an improper and illegal fashion. And we've seen so many instances of that in the last few years where it's been videoed, and it's people of color have been shot and killed when it was not appropriate, when they had not committed an offense that threatened the security of the officer or anybody else in the community. There is a bill, Mr. Chairman, that we have, which is the Independent Review Act that I filed with Mr. Lacey Clay. It has training for law enforcement officers on the differences in our communities, sensitivity training, and also has an independent prosecutor portion of the bill to see that there's no uh, appearance of unfair playing field when an officer does, is involved in deadly force that the DA would be from another jurisdiction and see to it that there was a fairness in the, uh, everybody's minds. It has 99 co-sponsors. It's been endorsed by the Chicago Tribune, a Republican newspaper, and uh, the NAACP, uh, among others. And Mr. Chairman, I would just ask you to take uh, a look at the bill and schedule it for a hearing. It has been through two Congresses. It has not had a hearing. And it certainly doesn't make people who have, some of the people I suspect, uh, Congressman Rutherford, who marched and said the things they said, which I find despicable. There was a reason, though, why they did that. And some of the reasons, because they don't believe justice is fair and equal and blind. And the Independent Review Act would help at least make them understand that there was an independent person determining if there was probable cause that a crime had been committed. So at least we should have a hearing, and I'd ask the chair to look into it. Would the gentleman yield? Yes, sir. Uh, I, thank, I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I will definitely take a look at the bill, and I'll get back to you about whether there are possible further <clears throat> steps forward based thank, on our Thank you, sir. I appreciate it very much.